To make a good story, you've got to have something that really connects you so that you care. And that's often a person, um, it's, you know, seeing someone meet a challenge. And, you know, those are almost cliches, but you do want to see, you know, people develop and change. You do want to connect emotionally. You do want to be able to relate. You do want to learn something. And probably more importantly, you want to be somewhere different at the end of the story than you are at the beginning. The story I wanted to tell was, at first it was something, it was going to be a day in the life of a sound producer about Nan, but as it continued on, it became more a story about him instead of what he does as a job. So it's more about him progressing and his struggles and achievements along the way. Less is more is something I've definitely learned in the last few years and so I was trying to reduce what he wanted to say um, and let his photos do the talking. Collaboration with Jerry was very, very good because I had no idea where the story was going initially. I just had all these photos that I took that were nice but I didn't know how to arrange it into a nice story. So when we first met, we talked through that and basically I fought the layout right there and there with her. Very much about using the words to highlight the images. You want them to be the hero, um, which is a whole different ball game because you never really deal with that in writing. Everybody's trying to build a working folio. They're getting ready to enter into producing their largest final kind of project, their final projects, their final folio, uh, moving into what they want to do in industry. So that collaborative association can carry on from there. I know Ferry for a very long time. We were, I suppose you call high school friends. And then when we were 21, we went out for a year. We dated for one year. And then that fell through, but uh, we stayed friends ever since. Coincidentally, that week, Ferry called me and asked if I could shoot some photos for her with this showreel that she was getting filmed. So like an actor, you know, you have a showreel, you, can, you send it into all these various places so you can get work. Well, she's done that for her burlesque dancing and her dancing. I said, yeah, sure. So while I was there, I thought, well, why don't I just make the book on her? She's always got a lot of stuff going on. I always felt, and I, and I met with her and you know, interviewed her, I felt like she was so strong as the story that the book had to just be her as a burlesque dancer and her life. With all the time I've spent on the photos and editing the photos and laying out the book, it was just really nice to know that I had someone who knows how to write and write in, a, in the proper format, working on it in her, in her time just something I didn't have to worry about. And I just thought if I had to do this myself, if I had to write all the captions or had to interview Ferry myself, write the introduction, I just, I don't think it would have been anywhere near as good as what she's going to produce. We don't want students to walk out of here as just photographers. We want students to walk out as content makers with the confidence to do their own projects.